Wildfires are one of the most common natural disasters to strike in Southern Oregon and Northern California. But it doesn't matter what the disaster is, you should have an emergency plan, especially if you have animals or livestock. Joining us right now is Laura Finley. She is live with the Rescue Ranch in Wairika. Laura, thank you so much for being here. You are very welcome. I'm glad to be here. So today you guys partnered with the United Way of Northern California for a pet preparedness training. What are some of the things that you want pet owners to know? What we really want pet owners to know is that their pets are very vulnerable, right, to these emergency situations. And so it's to be ready ahead of time so that either yourself or your neighbors and friends can help you because getting your pets out helps first responders. First responders want to save not just human lives, animal lives as well. And if we can get people ready to get their pets out and get them safe, that helps everybody and it helps the emergency response. Laura, in our region, wildfires are probably the most common natural disaster. What should people have in their preparedness plan when it comes to fires like that? They should have um, an evacuation plan for sure. So they should know how they're gonna get out. They should have um, a go bag for their pets like they do for themselves. So pet medication, veterinary records, um, some toys and blankets, because if you have to evacuate, your pet's gonna be more comfortable with that. You need a way to get your dog out of your home. So if it's a crate, if it's a bird, you need to have a cage that can be covered. Um, and they, then they need to have some kind of ID. That's really important. And we really stress the importance of microchips and keeping that microchip registry current, but callers with ID are also very critical for making that happen. And then finally, I have a thing that I say is have a buddy, be a buddy, because so many of our, you know, we go out and we have dinner, disaster strikes, we need to be able to call somebody because we can't get home. In Wairika, we're in Medford having dinner, <laughs> perhaps, and we need someone to be able to, you know, help get our pets to safety before we can get home. Of course, it's one thing for pets like common pets like dogs, cats. The Rescue Ranch also helps larger animals like horses. What kind of a plan should people make for livestock that may differ from just the regular house pet? So what we've done is um, at, um, we don't take pet large animals in at Rescue Ranch. We are dog, dog rescue. But what I have done is prepared what I call a property yard sign for those people who have property like myself. I have more than dogs. I have goats. Um, and so that yard sign can be outside of your, your property and it can list like the types of animals you have, the numbers you have to help first responders or neighbors in case you can't be there to help move your horse, get your sheep out, you know, whatever. Um, that's a, you know, a really good effective tool to help friends and neighbors and first responders know what they're walking into when they walk onto your property. Was today's training the only one you guys have planned or is there something coming up if people are interested? No, we're going to run them through the summer. We're going to take Father's Day off next Sunday. And then on Sunday, the 28th, we're going to have two classes, one at noon and one at two. And participation in the class, we're going to provide people with window stickers if they don't have rural property, a property sign um, that helps let people know um, that there are pets and animals on the property. And then for those folks who still need to microchip, this grant that was awarded to us allowed us to purchase 300 microchips that we're going to install in microchip clinics in July and August. All right, Laura Finley with the Rescue Ranch in Wairika, thank you so much for all this important information you're providing. Thank you.